Okay, today's video, we're gonna talk about cross-domain conversion tracking on Google Ads and how and where you should actually use this. There's a lot of different use cases where you would actually have to track clicks that you drive to one website domain that then go from this website domain to another website domain to complete their purchase, turn into a lead, whatever you're tracking. When I say cross-domain conversion tracking, this means primary domain tracking, not subdomain to primary domain, meaning if you your website is lp.example.com and you're trying to drive traffic to that landing page on that subdomain and you drive them to example.com to convert from Google Ads, that'll actually track all the way through by default. Where you run into an issue is, is when you're driving Google Ads traffic to example.com and they have to click through example.com to get to example2.com to convert. There's a conversion breakage that's gonna happen there unless you actually go through with the specified process that Google has set up for you to be able to track across more than one domain, okay? So, and this actually can be applications where this would come into play would be, for example, your primary website does not handle or have e-commerce functionality. You have to handle e-commerce checkouts on a third party website. And in that case, you're going to have to set up cross-domain tracking, which of course you're going to have to hope that you can put your tracking code on that website in order to track the conversions, which generally speaking, even if they don't let you put code on their checkout, they'll let you put it on a success page and then you can complete the loop that way. Another use case would be when you use something we use all the time at our advertising firm, which is something I call pre-landers. There's no official, yeah, I kind of like call them that, but where you're going to send people to what looks like a news article. That news article is gonna push your product or service that you're selling, but not look like it's coming from you. It can look like a newspaper article, magazine article. They read that article. The article essentially says your product is the best thing since sliced bread. And then there's a link where they can go find out where they can buy it if they wanted to. Okay, which is obviously on your primary website. Sending people to that website pre-lander, you're gonna have to have conversion uh, cross domain conversion tracking set up to track how well your funnel works there, given it's on two separate domains. If you wanted to save yourself time in that scenario, you could put the article on the same domain, but you're gonna have the drawback of a few people looking at the website domain URL or URL address and realizing this magazine article that looks like a magazine article is on the same damn website as the product that is being pitched on the magazine article, then you're gonna lose the conversion there. A lot of people won't notice it, and it's so effective, you'll make money anyway. But if you want the full money, you obviously want a separate domain that just looks like it's a magazine to, your, to do your pre-lander on. And when I say a whole website, I mean, you know, have it to where it's just one page. And if you click to go to the homepage, it says under construction. So you don't really have to have a whole site. But effectively, the domain name can then be, you know, topbowlingmagazine.com. If you were selling a bowling ball, you send them there. It looks like an independent third-party website then they could go to your main website. So that would be another individual use case where you would wanna do cross domain tracking. The other, and there's a bunch, but these are the main ones that I can think of and I'll speak of. The other one would be, of course, if you're sending people to a group, forum, that kind of thing, which is not a bad idea because if you're selling something that has very low trust and the reason why you don't get sales today is because people don't believe what your product or service does, like the benefits that it offers, they don't believe that it offers that, which if you're in any, in any kind of like brain booster, supplement product, diet product, anything like that, that's the number one thing stopping you from getting the product sold. In that case, my favorite technique there to, to get over that hump is to send them to a private forum which has a bunch of people talking about that product and how good it is, usage tips, progress reports, and so forth from your customers. And you literally just send them there, they start reading, they sell themselves, and then you have, a, of course, a bunch of links to your primary website within that private forum, of which you track so that you can send your Google Ads tr traffic to that forum, and then if they get to your main site from that forum, you now can track if they got through that, you know, the, the campaign that you have essentially dro that drove them to the forum work. So that'd be another common use case where you would need cross-domain tracking, if you will. And then the final is I see a lot of times people will have a bunch of websites because they'll try to saturate the marketplace. If they sell baseball gear, they'll have a bat website, ball website, whatever, and then they send everybody to one shopping cart because managing 15 shopping carts is kind of hard. And in that case, you could do cross-domain 
conversion tracking so that you could have one conversion goal and send people to all these different websites, but they end up purchasing from the same place and you can have it all tracked by the one goal at the end of the day. So with that said, I'm gonna tell you briefly how this is done. Now this isn't like a step-by-step -step tutorial. This is information to be able to get you in the right direction, explain how and why you would wanna do it. If you want the step-by-step -step code to add to your website, I simply encourage you to Google answer slash 7521212 and you'll find Google's documentation on this process. But the way that the process works at a high level that you understand how it works before you go ahead and start adding code to your websites, step one on your website that you're initially driving traffic to that your person is not gonna convert on, you're gonna have code on that website that's going to instruct anybody who clicks a link that points to your money site where they're gonna be converting to be decorated as they call it. So the URL at the end of the website URL so if this was example2.com, when somebody gets to example2.com from the link on your initial site that you're driving traffic to, it's gonna say example2.com slash question mark JR, there's gonna be like a coded bit of extra stuff added to the end of the URL. And that code is like a signal to the secondary money site that you want them to convert on so that when they come through, they can say, ah, I know who this is. It's somebody who came from the Google ad campaign and specifically came from the pre-landing site that they initially sent the user to. So there's secondary checker code on this money site that's gonna check for any traffic sources that come from this initial pre-lander website that also has the decoration at the end of the URL. If it sees it comes from a URL that has the decoration on it, it knows that it came from a Google ad and therefore if they convert past the information that about that conversion on the money site back to the Google ads account so you can complete the conversion loop. Respectively, you send people to an information site that gets the person warmed up, buttered up on you know how good your product or service is, given usually a lot of times people don't trust what you say and it's four times as effective of what somebody else says about you than what you can say about yourself. You know that. You send them there, hoping a percentage of the people will go to your site from that site, and then you use that as a more effective means to monetize a Google Ads account than you could otherwise, given that there's an extra step, but the people who get to the final money site are gonna convert at like 30% rate, which is very typical and why you actually do this, because you may say, why do I wanna send them to this first site when only 15% of people are even gonna make it to the second site, when I could just have all the people make it to the second site, and the reality is, if you send them directly to this site, you're gonna get a 1% conversion rate, but yes, only 15% of people will make it to this site, but then one in, one in three will convert, and now you have an overall conversion rate of three to 4%, if you follow my numbers all the way through there. With all that said, going back to what I was saying before, if you have no way to put, add tracking code to your money site that you're ultimately sending people to, or maybe you don't have any code that you could put on your info site, like such as you're driving people to a YouTube video on YouTube. You cross domain conversion tracking isn't available to you. The second best thing for you to do at that point in time, if that's you and you absolutely have to go this way, is conversion lift testing. And that's not gonna help you optimize your campaign, but it's at least gonna tell you if it works so you can scale it up. Conversion lift testing, you basically are just looking at what's my revenue, uh, let's say last month or uh, last year for July. We're, we're heading into July. My sales last year, July was this. We're gonna turn on our campaign. We're gonna see how this sales are. And then we're gonna see the difference in sales from last July to this July versus the ad spend last July versus this July. And the difference there is what we're going to attribute to our campaign that drove people to this pre-lander and then got to our money site and converted and used that as justification to keep that campaign going or spend more money through it. You know, I talk about all the time on this channel about how it's only worth it to set up PPC, given it's a lot of time and effort to set it up right, if you're gonna to get to the point of scaling, running a tiny campaign with all the work that it takes, is it gonna be worth it? And furthermore, you're not gonna feel justified in setting it all up to the detail it needs to be set up if you're just trying to get a few sales, which is where most people go wrong, because they say, I'll just spend a little time on it, when it works, I'll invest more time on it. And the reality is, shot glass of gas in your car and saying when I get down the road to the gas station, I will put more gas in it. And that's just really dumb. So anyway, with that said, that can be a secondary way to, to justify running that campaign, scale that campaign. However, it's much better to have cross-domain conversion tracking if you can help it because the way that Google is set up today, it's all driven off of machine learning systems nowadays. That is, all the other advertisers in your niche, you're trying to tell Google that you deserve all those customers that the top advertisers are already getting, the incumbents, if you will. And what 
what they're looking for is top click-through rates and top conversion rates. If you can do those two things better than the current competition in your space that are buying ads through them, they want to send all the good prospects to you so that their users get a better experience than before and then therefore it helps people get a better overall opinion of Google Ads and therefore likely to click on Google Ads in the future. So in other words, it only pays to spend money on Google Ads if you're going to out you're, you're there to outgun your competition, given Google gives all the rewards they can to the people who do the best job. And they literally, because they kind of know who's likely to turn into a customer and who's not before they even click, because they have all the machine learning models. And pro trust me when I tell you, they are going to send the person that's most likely to convert to the guy who's been advertising a long time, and they know for a fact he has the best landing page that people like. And the only way you're going to make your ads work in a competitive market is to show them that you deserve those clicks, or at least be in the top 20% in your space. As it ties to what I was just talking about with cross-domain conversion tracking, you wanna give Google system the most data you can about what works and what doesn't work if you have something set up that's good, actually good, because they're gonna pick up on it quicker and they're gonna give you all the love quicker. Not only that, you can use as a human optimizer of your ads, figure out what, you know, audiences work and don't work, what keywords work don't and don't work, and you can't do any of that without any clear conversion data. Uh, conversion lift testing isn't gonna do that for you. And of course, the ad algorithm that Google has itself can't optimize your ads for you, because if you say you want c customers at 30 bucks and you don't give it any conversion data, it's not gonna get you very many customers. Versus, it can run a bunch of ads, figure out the third of it that worked, triple down on that, cut out the stuff that didn't work, and now you have a profitable campaign because you have the data. Many, many times when you start advertising on Google, you don't make money at first, so you build up data, and the data itself is what gets you the profit from your ads. A lot of people just expect it's just like a light switch, they're gonna show up, they're gonna ha have their ads running, it's gonna work instantly, and in a, in a competitive market, you gotta realize all your competition has had months and years to rack up data about what works and what doesn't work, and here you are, coming in all you know young and green thinking this is gonna be simple and you just have, are at a major disadvantage. It's still always worth it to come in and do it anyway, especially when you know how to do it better than them. You watch videos on this channel, you understand how to do better than them, what people are willing to do, what they're not willing to do, what the consumer wants you to do and what, what they want them to do but they're not willing to do. You come in, you do that, you start building up a little bit of data about what works and what doesn't work, and bang, you're profitable, and it just gets more and more profitable from there. But it all starts with putting the time in, put the tracking systems together, so that all this stuff can happen. Because more than half of your results, long term, is just the buildup of the data, what works and what doesn't work. And if you don't have that data, it's very hard to make money. So with that said, if you have any questions about cross-domain conversion tracking, leave me a comment below. I get back to every single person who leaves me a question or comment on this channel, usually within 24 hours time. If you haven't subscribed to this channel already, what are you doing? You absolutely should be subscribed to this channel at the very least if you're any kind of serious about making money with online ads for your business. I promise you this isn't worse information that you're, or any, this information you're gonna receive here on this channel is better than any other channel you're gonna find on YouTube because it's coming from somebody who spends 40 hours a week doing ad testing and strategy for dozens of different ad accounts that I'm working on at any given time. No other YouTuber on here can claim that. They're just pulling your chain. And so if you're gonna pay attention to anything, you wanna pay attention to this channel as a result. Furthermore, if you like the channel, you're gonna like my blog as well. You should check that out. You can find that at guaranteeppc.com slash blog. My blog has actual step-by-step -step instructions to roll out certain strategies that we know work and are our go-tos at our firm to implement in our clients' accounts where and when we know we need guaranteed results from them. If you haven't checked that out already, you should check that out. And when I say guaranteed results, that's literally what we do here at our firm, Guaranteed PPC. We're an advertising agency that offers clients results, at least at the beginning of the relationship, to be at a certain level. That is, if we cannot raise your profitability a certain minimum amount upfront on your campaigns, we do not take a management fee. No other agency out there on the planet offers any kind of guarantee like that in the PPC space. We're the only ones that do. The only catch is you gotta have something we gotta know we can get great results with before we agree to take you on as a client. However, if you wanna see if we can work together, we offer a free consultation. 
reach out to me at guaranteedppc.com and I'd be happy to look over your stuff and see what the possibilities may be. As a side, as a final note before I wrap this video up, I just wanted to also let you know that if we've worked in your niche market before, we can get you the winning ads and landing pages and campaign templates that we've already developed for your niche market and sell them to you outright to get the results we're getting with none of the, obviously, the hassle that we had to go through to get those same results in a different geographic area that you're in. And, you know, we've worked in over 100 niche markets, so the chances are very high that we've already done all the hard work to figure out what you are trying to figure out on your end and could just get from us, you know, right away. Uh, for that matter, you won't know unless you reach out to us. We, if you reach out to us, we can tell you what results we got in your niche market in terms of cost per lead or ROI and what you would stand to gain by using them, of which these templates are so good, it's basically like having a business on training wheels once you have it, or business in a box, or turnkey business, given the hardest part about running a business generally is having a winning ad template that works for that market. We've got people that use these templates to start businesses up and not have any clue uh, about e-commerce and make it work because they had the template, or we've got people that sell leads, that that's all they're doing is selling leads using our templates. So, if you're interested in any of those other opportunities, you can also reach out to me at guaranteedppc.com. Uh, with that said, I'll wrap everything up with that. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.